Hello, I'm Javis Lewis, and in this video I'm going to show you how to set up Plesk Mail in Thunderbird for Windows. This was a request by YouTube user Jarpy, and well, here's how you do that. It's fairly simple. I've already logged into my Plesk web administration interface here, and I'm setting up, or I already have set up a new email address here on my domain aperturescience.com. Uh, just to recap, we do that by heading over to the Mail tab, and then I would have created an email address, and the result is this. It's a very simple one. It doesn't have access to the Plesk control panel. All it has is a, an email address, cave.johnson at apertureScience.com. We need to check the mailbox option and give it a password. That really is it. Let's head over to Windows and set this up and check it with Thunderbird. Right now there's nothing going on here on Thunderbird, and it looks a little bit... Um, well, Thunderbird has gone through several iterations, and it's uh, it's always kind of new every time you install it. It's all you know different. Uh, there's no menu bar at the top that lets us change settings. Instead, they've moved it to the side. So this thing that looks like it's kind of connected to the search box is actually the options menu. And if you hover over it, it, it tells you it's the Thunderbird menu. And if you click it once, it uh, creates some kind of a fold-out menu here and under Options you will see Account Settings and that's what you need to do. You, uh, this is more or less the entire magic of uh, Thunderbird working out how it works on Windows. So you uh, click this, these three lines here and then you head over to Options and wait for that next flyout menu to appear and there's the Account Settings. And if you click on those you have the option to set up a new account down here on the bottom. Add mail account. You can also have a chat feed and other account. We're going to need a mail account for what we're going to do. And uh, a new window pops up here for the basic credentials for your email account. And in our case, that's Cave Johnson is his name. And the email address is cavejohnson at apertureScience.com. I spell that correctly. I guess I have a super secret password here. And select Remember Password and hit Continue. And Thunderbird is very clever and can figure out the correct settings for Plesk Mail. So these are being determined by Thunderbird probing your server and it comes back with the correct settings. So there's not a lot of manual configuration that you need to do. You can override this by heading over to Manual Config but this will work in my experience. So if you hit done, then that email account is added and will work. Let's go through the manual config just to, um, just to see what Thunderbird has done here. It's worked out these two ports on which to communicate for the incoming and the outgoing mail server. It has also determined that our mail server is capable of using IMAP, which I would strongly recommend. You have the option to override this and use POP3 instead, but I don't recommend it in this day and age of multiple devices. It has also detected that start TLS will work as an encryption format with our server. Uh, SSL is something that doesn't work with Plesk out of the box, but the uh, the default option that Thunderbird has has detected here, start TLS, is correct. Other mail clients just call it TLS and SSL, or auto detect. So in our case, TLS or start TLS will work fine. The username for the incoming server that is usually the full email address. So rather than just cave dot Johnson, it's cave dot Johnson at aperturescience.com much like for the outgoing mail server. If you hit retest, you can, you can see if Thunderbird is happy about that. Hit done and hit OK and see what's happened in your inbox. And we can already see three messages there. That is it. I hope this was helpful in setting up your email client Thunderbird on Windows. If you like this video, please consider subscribing to my channel and don't forget to share this video with friends, family and total strangers. Bye for now. I will see you next time.